Back in this tutorial, we're going to create the crown molding around the door and around the uh, top of our um, ceiling. So, that being said, we're going to use a EP curve, and I'm going to start that in my top view. So, uh, this is the opening for my door. As you can see, I extruded the edge of this um, shape so that I could find that in my um, top view and we're going to go to the create curve tool EP curve tool so I'm going to create something very simple something like that press return and I'm going to flatten that a little more Okay, perfect. Now we go to object mode, and um, there's my curve shape. There it is. So I'm going to go to modify center pivot and isolate this by pressing Control 1. And I'm going to hold D, hold C, and drag that right here. All right, perfect. So now that we're in our top view, I'm going to go back to my perspective, press Control 1, and I'm going to move this guy up in the Y axis and hold V to snap it right to this edge. Press F to frame in on this object. Press R and I'll scale it out a little wider. I'm going to press E to rotate it at a 45 degree angle. So to help me get that at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to hold J and rotate that at 45. And I'm going to press W. I'll press Control D. I'll move this guy over like this. I'll hold V and snap it right here. I'll press E, then I'll hold J and rotate it the opposite direction. So now that is at uh, negative 135. All right, now I have these two shapes. I'll press Control D, I'll press W, and I'll move them down. And now I'm going to press R, I'll hold J and scale them flat. But I need to actually select the vertex. So that object selected, I'll press Control 1. Right mouse click and hold, go to Control Vertex. I'll hold J and snap that one flat. And I'll select this object, press Control 1. Right mouse click and hold, go to Control Vertex. Highlight those vertices, hold J, and I'll snap these guys flat. Control 1 to go back into my object mode. So now I have uh, the same shape that I have at the top of the door. I'm going to modify center pivot. I move these guys down until they on the surface of the floor. All right, perfect. Now with that one selected, I hold shift and select that particular shape. And then I'll go to Surfaces, Loft, Option Box. I'll change the output geometry to polygons. And I will keep this at quads, general. Change the U type and the V type to per span number of isoparms. And then I'll click Apply. Now, this geometry is um, a polygon, so I have to go to Mesh Display Reverse. And I'll click on this one and that curve there, apply. And then I'll click on that shape. I'll hold shifts like that one and then apply. And there we go. So that is the very simple way of creating a door frame. Now the next thing that we need to do is create the, uh, the really nice crown molding. Now some of you guys have really intricate crown molding but for me I'm gonna make something very simple I'll go to my front view and I'm going to use the 
EP curve. Now I want this particular crown molding to look um, really nice. So I'll change it to, um, I'll keep it at one linear. I think that's fine. I'll click on that edge, I'll hold shift. And I will kind of make it go up like that. This, actually, I don't like that shape very much. So let me click here, I'll hold shift. And since this is a, going to be a low polygon shape, I can always press 3 to smooth this out. I'll hold shift, bring this up and out, almost there. And then I'll hold shift. Now that I have this shape, I'm going to modify center pivot, modify center pivot. I'll press control one. I'll press F to frame in on this guy. And now I'm going to hold D. And I'm going to zoom in pretty close to this object. And that little yellow uh, square, I'll click on it. I'll hold C, drag and drop it right there. So now this object is snapped to the edge of the curve. Press control one, and I'll go into my perspective view. I will hold V and snap this to the edge of my room. I'll press E, and then I'll hold J to rotate this at a 45 degree angle. I'll press W, which is the move tool, control D. Hold V, snap it to that edge of the wall. All right, I'll press 4 so you can maybe see it a little easier. Control D, I'll hold V and snap it there. Okay, um, Control D, I'll hold V and snap it to that edge of the wall. I'll press E and I will hold J to rotate it at a negative. 135. Okay. Now I'll press Control D. I'll hold V. Snap it to this edge of the wall. Okay. I'll press E. I'll hold J, and I'll rotate it um, another 45 degree angle. And then last, I think there's one more. Yeah, last but not least, I'll press W, which is the move tool. I'll press Control D, I'll hold V and snap it there, and I'll hold, I'll press E, hold J, and I'll rotate it at another negative 45 degree angle, um, which is actually negative 315. I think yours will be a little bit different than mine. And now it's time for me to start lofting. So I'll select this curve, I'll select the second curve, I'll go to surfaces, loft and the reason why the normals are reversed um, is just the order of selection so if that happens to you uh, just select that curve hold shift select that curve surface loft uh, click on that curve here and sometimes it's really difficult to select the curve inside of the geometry so if you click on this button right here it will allow you just to select the curve and not the geometry so I will hold shift, select that curve, I'll press G which is um, repeat previous command, I'll hold shift, select that guy, press G, hold shift, select that, press G, and you can only do one at a time. If I try to select three curves, as you will notice, um, sometimes it, you know what, it sometimes gives you a really, really awkward shape. Um, I'm going to try to do something that I don't often do is just select all of the curves at the same time and loft. I want to see if that will um, give me the res same result I just got that I wasn't expecting. So all of them selected, surfaces loft. Well, isn't that something? That's pretty cool. Loft. And then I'll select that one and then hold shift and press G.
So look at there's our crown molding, and um, if you want to have crown molding on the base of your floor, I think it looks um, really nice when you have crown molding at the top of your walls and the base of the floor. Um, but it's the same exact process, so I have a lot to work, a lot of work to do. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial.